We're going to the bottom of the ninth. It's the Phillies six and the Mets six. As the Mets score two to keep the game alive, send us to the bottom of the ninth. Hayes, Schwarber, and Turner. If anybody gets on, it'll be Bryce Harper. The last time the Phillies had a walk-off win in the postseason, the man who authored the game-winning hit is in the building today. He's a few doors down watching Jimmy Rollins, his walk-off game-winning double in game four of the 2009 NLCS off Jonathan Broxton. Austin Hayes will get his first at-bat for the Phillies this postseason. In fact, his first at-bat for the Phillies in a while. He faces Tyler McGill, and the right-hander's first pitch is taken for a strike called on the inside corner. Hayes, who had a well, only 22 games with the Phillies during the regular season after the trade from Baltimore. They guard the line at third base with Vientos, the 0-1. Hayes swings, pops one up, right field line, long run, Taylor coming over, slides, can't get it, it's foul. Hayes trying to dump one down the right field line, get a board to start the ninth, but he's down to the count here, 0-2. And yeah, McGill has a ton of pitches. I mean, they list him as having eight pitches. He has thrown them all. Typically, though, it's going to be four-seam cut. He's got a couple of little breaking balls that he'll use. Likes to mix and match a lot. Hayes takes a long walk back to the batter's box. Phillies have had four walk-off RBI in postseason history. I know you two remember one very very well yep 93 game one of the nlcs the 0-2 hayes swings fouls it back nothing at two six six bottom of the ninth mets play the outfield straight up mcgill turns the big right handers pitch to hayes swing and a miss he got him breaking ball and there's out number one to start the ninth. If you're wondering, in case you weren't aware, as Rob Thompson says, in extra innings, don't forget, they play by Abner Double Day's rules. Right. <laughs> there will be no Thanks for that. zombie runner at second base in the postseason. Here's Kyle Schwarber. Hitless today, 0 for 4. McGill's first pitch to Schwarber. He takes, and it's in there for a strike at the top of the zone. Schwarber with two men on in the seventh, struck out against Edwin Diaz. Came back out for the eighth and surrendered the lead. The 0 1 pitch. Swing and a fly ball, shallow left. Vientos backpedaling into shallow left field. Nimmo coming on. Viento stays with it, makes the catch, keeps his feet. Nemo falls over backwards, ends up on his backside. But that is out number two. And Trey Turner, the only man standing between us and uh, extra innings. And now Nemo is down on a knee, a little bit shaken up. I don't know if he just had the wind knocked out of him. He's uh, bent over. Looks like he's gasping for breath and the trainer is out there got hit in a couple spots one of them where I can understand why he's gasping for breath I gotcha and he'll stay in the game he says he's all right That's a pretty good collision, and that's the one you try to avoid at all costs in baseball is when both the infielder and the outfielder stay on their feet. When that happens and you hit each other, there's nowhere to go. I mean, it literally is so jarring. One of you is going to get it. I mean, it's unquestionable. And that ball truly is Nimmo's ball all the way. He's fortunate. So here's Trey Turner, two for four today. 
Six six. Bottom of the ninth. The pitch. He takes a ball that bounces in the dirt. Phillies have had one walk off home run back in the 1981 division series. In game four, George Bukovic, the 1 0, and it's down and away. That was a pinch hit home run in the 10th inning. Missing badly on a couple here to Turner. Harper's waiting on deck. As McGill falls behind 2 0. The right hander into his wine. Here's the pitch to Turner. And he takes down low, ball three. All right, in the driver's seat now. Have him throw you a strike. 3 0 on the way. And that one is a strike call. 98 mile an hour fastball from McGill. McGill, the fourth pitcher used today by New York. 6-6, six, six, bottom of the ninth. Three and one, here's the pitch. Swing and a miss. There's some movement on that cutter down at the bottom of the zone. And that runs the count full. Harper can only watch. He's waiting in the on-deck circle, hoping for a chance. McGill into the windup in the 3-2 pitch. It's down low, ball four, and Turner is on. And Harper's going to bat here in the ninth. Mendoza jogs out to talk to McGill. There's nobody warming up. This is merely strategy. McGill is not coming out of this game. So the strategy on the Philly side, too, is there's a decision made. It, and this is where Rob Thompson will be very strict on what he decides. If he says, hey, we got to have a hard hit, whatever it's going to be, then he will put a red light on Turner, no doubt about it, and make him stay. The other side of that is if he's going to say, all right, I, I think Castellanos might be the guy. He feels good about him. You let Turner go ahead and go, and then you put the weight on the Mets. Would they walk Harper? I think they would. And then it comes up to Castellanos. Well, the uh, meeting includes everybody on the infield. And Alvarez, the catcher, stays a little bit longer. Harper, who had a two-run home run in the sixth inning, he walked to, with one out in the eighth to start the comeback rally. And Harper, with that home run in the sixth inning, tied his teammate Kyle Schwarber with his 12th career homer in the postseason as a Philly, tied for the most in franchise history. Alonzo playing behind Turner at first base. McGill is ready, and the pitch. Harper takes down and in. Ball bounces in at the plate. They want Turner to go, so yeah. they can just put Harp on. Paco Figueroa, the first base coach, making sure Turner doesn't get back picked either. He's got to be in his ear. Alonzo cuts in. Here's the 1-0. Swung on, hit deep down the right field line towards the corner. That ball is a... Foul ball at the base of the wall. Oh, man. <laughs> that would have done it. Oh, mercy. With two outs, Turner off to the races easily would have scored. A game of inches still. As Maybe close as Stotts was on the fair side of the line, Harper's was on the foul side. Outfield shaded the opposite way against Harper. Everybody's standing 45,000 plus. McGill ready in the 1-1. It's down low. Off-speed pitch. Harper now with 17 total home runs in the postseason in his career. Two balls, one strike. McGill ready. He delivers, and it's swung on, pulled on the ground, foul. And it's two balls and two strikes.
Bottom of the ninth inning, 6-6 our score. And a wild game two. Turner the winning run at first base. McGill ready at his 2-2 to Harper. Swing and a foul. He hit it off the end of the bat. They're trying to stay way off the plate. And Harper reaching for it. Stays alive. Tightens the straps on red batting gloves. Both hands. Harper taps the barrel down both sides of the plate. Inside, outside corner. Ready's the bat. McGill readies for the pitch. The 2-2. And it's high. Fastball out of the zone. Just can't. I can't imagine they're going to throw him a strike. I just. There, there's just no reason. Right. Turner will be off to the races with a count full. And yeah, they're going to put him on, right? Harper. Nope. Takes his time out. There, Alvarez just reminding everybody to get to gotcha. first. Throw, throw is to first. Harper again. Taps the bat down on the plate. He's ready. McGill ready as well. The 3-2. And it's low. Ball four. They go 3-2 splitter. And so back-to-back -back walks will move the winning run into scoring position. And the Phillies during the regular season this year enjoyed 10 walk-off wins. And Nick Castellanos delivered the winning hit in four of them. He's got a homer today that tied the game in the sixth. He had a base hit that set up the rally in the eighth. He's got a chance to win it in the ninth. McGill is ready. First pitch. Swing and a miss. Can't imagine him getting a fastball either. Right. Wouldn't think. Just Bader shaded to right center. Taylor a step towards the line. Just a bloop somewhere. 0-1. Turner leads off of second. McGill delivers in the pitch. Swung on, fouled off on the first baseline. Got a fastball in off the plate. Now he's got a battle. Nick Castellanos steps out of the batter's box, taps the barrel on the toes of each cleat. Whirls the bat a couple of times. He's in the box and waiting. And McGill's 0-2 in the dirt. He lays off. And that's pretty much the pattern against Castellanos. Lead him further and further outside, see if he'll chase. Sometimes pitcher can get in his head. I, I don't want to hang this. I can't hang this. And that's pretty much what will happen. Hopefully he's thinking that. McGill. At one ball, two strikes. Looks back at second. The pitch. Swung on. Line down the left field line. And that's going to win it. Castellanos has done it. Turner is scoring. And the Phillies walk it off here in the bottom of the ninth. A game two victory, 7-6. to six, As the Phillies come racing out of the dugout, dancing around between first and second as Nick Castellanos has won the ball game. Yeah, baby. Seven to six, the final. The Phillies win it, and Mr. Walkoff delivers again. And maybe this is just what the doctor ordered to get some momentum turned around, get the Phillies feeling confident about themselves, about their offense, going to New York for two there. Nick Castellanos with his third straight hit in this ball game. He tied it in the sixth inning with a home run going back to back with Bryce Harper. And he wins it in the bottom of the ninth. After two straight walks, Turner working a great walk. Harper as well put the winning run in scoring position. And there's Nick Castellanos. The Mets living and dying on their two strike hits and the Phillies come through with one of their own. Whew. Nick Castellanos racing over to the backstop. His son Liam is there waiting for him. How about that? Family first with Nick, no doubt about it. Going over to see his son. Get the high five.
But I just, I absolutely love the fact that the way that Nick has been so clutch hitting behind Harp, it forces teams to make these trips to the mound and figure yeah. out what are you going to do. Yep. And Nick, I think, just gets ticked off when that happens. It says, look, you can't, you can't not look at me. I, I am a factor here. And he gets two strikes, and he's been clutch. No doubt. No doubt about it. Castellanos, we mentioned it before the hit. Ten walk-off wins this year for the Phillies, and he had the walk-off hit in four of them. And here he's got another walk-off RBI, and Nick Castellanos delivers in the biggest moment for the Phils. Boy, and what a picture of Nick and his son, Liam. Wow. So cool.